All right, today we're eating like the one, the only, the queen of YouTube, Emma Chamberlain. So I've been wanting to do this video for like a super, super long time. And so I thought today, heck, we're gonna get it done. We all know Emma loves her coffee all day, every day. But then she's also gone through a huge matcha kick. So I'm debating between do we go for coffee or do we go for matcha? I think we're gonna go for coffee because it's like, it's like, you know, coffee's been there. Coffee's been there since the beginning. Now, of course, I'm not gonna have actual coffee because the jitters. I've never actually tried her coffee either. It would be great. But again, I don't know. I could probably take a couple sips and then out like a light. This stuff is such a lifesaver though. It tastes exactly like coffee. It acts exactly like coffee. It's great. The coffee taste without the caffeine hit. But then again, I know a lot of people obviously drink coffee before the caffeine hit, so more like a late night beverage. Is it what cup should we use today? Do we go for a big cup or a little cup? So I know she loves the latte and I know she loves a cold brew. So I don't know how I would do a cold brew with this. Um, so we're just gonna make like a little, some, a latte vibe. We got our little coffee. We have our hot water. Daily workout, breaking the ice cream tray. So for milk, she uses that very fancy bottle one, you know, with like the odd kind of shape. I don't got that on hand, but I do have some lovely Costco beverage oat milk. And then she also uses, sorry, I just ran up into the stairs, which is why I'm kind of out of breath. And then she also uses the unsweetened nut pod creamers. So we're gonna hit it with the oat milk. I have this creamer. I don't really use it very often. It's my dad's. I'm just, and it's sweetened. The ones she uses are unsweetened. But riddle me this. I don't understand how you can have caramel flavor without the sugar. You know what I mean? My mind can't, I need to try it because my mind cannot conceptualize around the idea of unsweetened flavors because the flavor is the sweetness. Or is that just, I don't, I don't get it. But I'd love to try it. Honestly, even that's not sweet enough for me. So I'm just loosely following along her that what I eat in a day video thing that they do. What's the channel that does that? That food channel that just like does celebrity what I eat in a day. So I'm kind of loosely following that, but I also like know kind of just from watching her stuff, like kind of what she eats on the day to day. But for breakfast, she said that she really loves two burnt crispy sunny side up eggs with a side of avocado. Now she said she's not really a breakfast person. Which is like, I understand that because breakfast is definitely not my favorite meal of the day, but I'm always hungry in the morning, so. So I'm just gonna make one of my classic little tofu eggies. Cleanser. Oh. My sister and I literally went swimming in the sea yesterday and it was so much fun. But my hair still feels like sticky. You know, like when you get seawater in your hair and it kind of feels like icky this little bad boy is literally the love of my life it's an olive oil sprayer i don't know if i've shown you guys this before but it's the best thing in the world now she doesn't eat a lot of like bread or gluten or anything like that so she doesn't have like any toast with her breakfast she has the two eggs and then she said she has an avocado but how odd, I don't think I've eaten like just a plain avocado, like just an avocado. And I can't even tell you how long. So it'll be an interesting experience to experience here together. Oh, right. she's vegan. No, she's vegetarian guys, keep up. She was vegan for a while. All right, little eggie number one, the finished product here. We go. Look at this one, this one is the one that got messed up a little bit. But this guy, a little crispy on the bottom, just how she likes it, our little avocado. Adorable. It definitely is missing some toast for me because I'm a toast gal, but those tofu eggs are literally the best. I want to try a little piece of actually the egg with a piece of avocado on top. There we go. 
are <clears throat> ice cubes have melted. But it doesn't really taste watered down. That's interesting. All right, well, it's a beautiful day outside. So I'm probably gonna go enjoy the rest of this breakfast in nature. Snack time, baby. Two snack options that we're going with here is she literally said she will just take a spoonful of peanut butter as a snack. Very Meet Joe Black-esque. And also she said that she eats those Mary's crackers, which I'm also obsessed with. They're such good crackers. Um, with spicy hummus, I literally just finished my hummus. So that's sad. We can always make hummus, but it was so runny. All right, follow along with me here. I'm about to do something crazy. Cracker and the peanut butter. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, I don't hate it with the crackers, but I think it would be much better with spicy hummus. All right, we all know Emma Chamberlain's obsession with Air One and the salad there. And we are going to recreate it for lunch. So the base of it is kale. I think it's supposed to be curly kale, but we got some dino up in here. I personally feel like dino is a superior kale. I just love the texture of it. I just think it's so fun. And I think it's honestly less chewy because I know some people have trouble with curly kale because it's like quite, I mean, this is dense too. I don't know. I think dino kale is just superior. And this bad boy is actually from the farmer's market. So we got some local kale up in here. She also said that she loves fresh cherries and plums when they're in season. I don't have any plums. I wish I did. Look at these adorable little sunset cherries. These are honestly one of my favorite types just because they're so pretty all right we gotta massage our kale now i read that there's supposed to be great northern beans in this i've never heard of a great northern bean so we're just going with some navy beans it's both start with an n so all right i got my favorite little jar to make my dressing this is my like dressing jar for the dressing we need three tablespoons ish of lemon juice one tablespoon of yellow mustard, two tablespoons of maple syrup, and four tablespoons of olive oil. I feel like it could kind of like maybe use, it could use an element of like apple or like oranges maybe. It could use like a, a twang of like a freshness maybe of fruit. It is dinner time. Your girl is starving. I may or may not have some potatoes in the air fryer because she does like roasted veggies. And my choice of veggie is a potato. I'm just like really hungry and I, I'm just gonna snack on those pre slash while cooking dinner. And for dinner, she says that she loves to have pesto pasta on chickpea, like the bonzo chickpea pasta, which unfortunately don't have in good old Canada. So I do have, however, I think obviously we do have chickpea pasta, but I don't have any. And I guess I know what you're gonna say, like Megan, you're being, you're, you've been very unprepared for this video. Shh. No, don't say it. We have red lentil and we have edamame mung bean fettuccine. Jeez, 19 grams of protein per serving. This one has 36 grams of protein per serving. Okay, I think I'm being very indecisive, but I think we're gonna maybe go with the penne. But this, uh, I feel like I need to flip the coin. This is how I make any major decision in my life. Okay, heads we do this one, tails we do this one. Heads, ladies and gentlemen. Kind of perfected this pesto recipe. It's originally a nettle pesto, but I figured out that it works with quite literally any kind of like good leafy green. So obviously you could do basil, but kale, chard. So I've got some kale and chard from the garden and we're gonna go in with four or five cloves of garlic, a little bit of olive oil, some nutritional yeast. Instead of pine nuts, I use cashews, salt and pepper and then just a couple tablespoons of lemon juice. Pesto pasta, pesto time, pesto pasta. 
best of time. All right, so she said that she sprinkled a little nooch on top as well. We got the finished product. Mm, it's heavenly. There's nothing quite like it. And I feel like this, this one, you're like getting your veg in too, because you know it's made with like kale and it's hard. Mmm. Lentil pasta definitely has a little bit of like a twang to it. Like the texture's just, like the flavor's not bad at all. It's more like the texture that's a little bit odd, but I mean, 19 grams of protein. I'm gonna be freaking ripped. I'm gonna wake up tomorrow with muscles. All right, last but not least, to end off the day, I have some edible cookie dough. I remember she made this in a vlog a while back ago where she just kind of threw a bunch of things together like oat flour, chocolate chip. So it tastes exactly like actual cookie dough. No, it does taste really good. It almost tastes like a deconstructed peanut butter cup or something. Cause there's like almond butter and stuff in it. It's just not exactly what it's advertising itself as. So that is eating like Emma Chamberlain for the day. I was a little hungry, not gonna lie. Your girl is, a, your girl is just full of carbs. Yeah, I can't lie. It was a lot of protein today, which was good. Cause I mean, protein does keep you full, but I'm a carbs girl. Can't, oh, hello bandit. Mm -hmm. Um, I can't lie. So maybe I just need to be eating like bigger portions of like what I was eating maybe. I'm not sure. Okay. Well, bandit would like to take over this outro, but I hope everyone's having a great day and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>